have a smile. We are the ones, the ones you left behind. Don't tell us how, tell us how to live our lives. Ten million strong, we're breaking all the rules. Thank you for nothing, cause there's nothing left to lose. First treat, you will need some fruits of your choice. I decided to go with kiwi, strawberries, mango, and some berries. Then you'll need some kind of popsicle molds, and last but not least, you will need water. This is more than the now take all the sticks out, and then you can start to put your fruits into your popsicle molds. And if you fill it halfway up, it will have more water than fruits. But if you fill it all the way up, it will have more fruits than water. So it's just all up to you what you prefer. In the day, going crazy, can bear anything, then when you put all the fruits into the popsicle molds, it's time to fill her up with water. And don't forget that you gotta have some space for the sticks, so don't fill it all the way up. Next, add the sticks, and now we can put it into the freezer. Once they're frozen, put them under warm water for a minute or so, and... It's just so it will be easier to take them out of the molds. That's pretty much it. It's really good and it's also healthy, so that's a big plus. What we gotta do right here is go back. This next treat is really simple and easy, and you will need limes and a watermelon, and that's it. First we're going to cut the watermelon in half and just letting you know it's pretty hard. <laughs> but when you're done with that you want to take everything out of the watermelon and in this treat we're going to use the cubes. So go ahead and put the cubes into the freezer. This next step is optional, it's just to make the glass a bit fancier. So just cut the lime in half and then cut a thin slice. And last cut a little bit into the lime slice and now you can put it onto the glass. Now take the limes and we're gonna cut them in half and then just try to squeeze as much juice as you can. You can use one lime if you want to drink to be less sour but I went with two limes. When the watermelon cubes are completely frozen you can take it out of the freezer and now we're gonna add the cubes and the lime into a blender and then just mix it together and put it into our fancy lime glass. <laughs> This drink is really sour, but it's also really, really fresh, so I like it. It's, it's so good. <laughs> For this third treat, you'll need some fruits, or actually that's optional, but then a watermelon, water, and two packages of red jello. I don't know what <laughs> the yellow one is doing there, but two packages of red jello. So start by adding one and a half cup of water into a cooking pot and wait for it to boil. When the water is boiled, add two packages of the red jello and stir until you can't see the sugar in the water anymore. Next add a little less than one cup of cold water and stir it. Now take a bowl so the watermelon won't roll through your fritz and then add the jello mixture into the watermelon and try to add as much as you can then slowly move it to the fridge and let it sit for about seven hours once it's ready we're going to cut it in half and make sure to go back and forth slowly with the knife so it won't pop out you know the jello then again cut it in half and now begin to cut it into many slices and that's pretty much it it's so cute and delicious if you like jello. You will need grapes of your choice and some skewers and that's it. My heart is First of all you want to wash them then we're gonna put them on the skewers and I did a lot of those because frozen grapes are seriously so good. <laughs> And if you haven't tried it, you need to do it. But then it's pretty self-explanatory. Put them into the freezer over a night or so. And it's ready to be eaten. I 
find my way back to where you're. For this next treat, and by the way, this is my favorite. But you will need a whipped cream, a glass, and a spoon. Then you'll need blueberries and strawberries. If you don't like whipped cream, then this is definitely not for you. But first, we're gonna cut the green leaves of the strawberries, and don't forget to wash them. It's important. Then I'm just cutting them in smaller pieces. Now we're going to cover the bottom of the glass with whipped cream and then add some strawberries and blueberries and we're just gonna repeat this whipped cream and then strawberries and blueberries in between. When we come to the top try to make it look good and that's it for this treat. I ate so so much of this and this is seriously so good i can't explain how good this is it's just it's the best for this ice cream treat you will of course need some ice cream then you'll need limes and lemons and last you will need some lollipops so we're starting it off by taking the limes and the lemons and cutting off the top even though you're not with them. When you're done with that, you want to remove everything that is inside and then just wash it with cold water and it's not necessary just so there won't be as much lemon taste. Next, take the ice cream and fill the lemons and the limes. And it's beautiful to use a colorful ice cream. I couldn't find one. But I really recommend it. Last, add the lollipop sticks in and it's ready. I'm using lollipops instead of spoons. It was delicious. This was it for this video. I love you guys so much and I can't explain how thankful I am for more than 12,000 subscribers. That's insane and I never ever seriously i never thought i could reach this number so i want to thank each and every one of you you all are amazing and i love you so much have a great day bye